What up guys in the lone world of YouTube? How are you guys doing? And this is Jughead82. The man with the plan. This video is brought to you in part by Who Gives a Fuck Jokes? Who Gives a Fuck Jokes? The jokes that keep on joking. <laughs> oh, no, this is a video response, or just a video in general, because we don't do video responses on YouTube no more. It's a lot of things we don't do on YouTube anymore. But this is a video that literally, I just saw the video now, and people have a problem with the Simpsons character, Hapu. I just saw it on Rich's channel, Rich of Review Tech USA, and I could wholly agree with him. We have come to the point that we're in a society that can't take a fucking joke. The basis of this is the fact that the character Hapu, who's been on The Simpsons show for nearly 30 plus years, offended a lot of people of Indian descent. And I asked the question and begged the, the difference of, and Rich did state in the video, you have characters in there that are Scottish, over exaggerated Scottish accents and so forth. Characters that play police officers, they love to eat donuts. Characters do have homosexual uh, tendencies and so forth. And the thing that kind of makes me kind of question some people these days is the fact that, can you take a fucking joke? I look at legends like Richard Pryor, George Carlin, um, you name it, man. There's so many comedians, legendary comedians like Red Fox, you know, even Thick Gregory, you know, who's a civil rights activist and so forth. Um, and I sit there and think of, 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 of Don Rickles, who's another one just popped in my head. I mean, these comedians, Robin Williams, it's, I can go on and on about all these comedians who Bill Hicks, and I've seen from his material years ago, and, and, and he was way before his time. And uh, the thing about it is there somewhat, it's like a muffling or a censorship of the person who does comedy. First of all, most of the comedians that do comedy do it as either sending a message or giving some kind of political statement about their comedy and their jokes and how they present them and how they say them. And I think we come in to the point now that everybody's so sensitive about every goddamn thing from what they see on TV to what a motherfucker will say to the point where it's just so, so rodained and so just out there to the point where you just literally don't even want to watch shit anymore. Half the comedians that you see now have been so tamed because they don't want to hurt a certain majority of the crowd. If you go to a comedy show, and I put myself in that category. If I go to a comedy show, I'm expected to get balls out 110%. Anything you want to say, say it. If it's funny, it's funny. Fuck it, it's funny. But sometimes they say stuff about religion. And they say stuff about race. Say stuff about sexuality. Let comedians be fucking comedians because at the end of the day, you're going to start having those buy rates and ticket sales go down to two of it. And I just don't understand the idea of what comedy used to be and what it is now. You have comedians that are, and I don't blame the comedians because it seems like when you're in a society that's "quote unquote" politically correct, and they don't want to, they don't want to bump anybody's shoulders, they don't disrespect anybody. It's kind of like a fucking slap in the face. And I sit there and feel like, okay, Hapu, the person, the character. Now, don't get me wrong. There are Indians that do work at, you know, Seven Elevens and and so forth. And don't get me wrong. But this character has been on a TV show. If it was an issue, that's kind of like if it was an issue with this, this, and that years ago, and you never said anything, what the hell are you bringing it up now for? You, you guys are 30 fucking plus years old. You fucking knew The Simpsons was on the air all this time, but never was a problem. Bullshit. I, like I said, it's a movie I remember called The Aristocrats, and I said that in the comment on, on a Rich's video. I said no, no joke, but that wasn't what it was. But basically, it was a joke that was the nastiest, raunchiest joke you ever heard, and this and that. And basically, everybody had a different uh, foretelling of what the aristocrats 
basically the punchline is it's called the aristocrats. So you could say something about somebody shitting in somebody's mouth, pissing on somebody's face, and you know, and it all boiled up into the joke itself. And we call this play the aristocrats, right? And I just don't get it. I mean, do we understand that literally? Yeah, it's understandable that every person has feelings. But if you know you are at a comedy show and you know this is not meant to deter or hurt you, then you take it for what it is. It's comedy. It's kind of like when you're in school. Now, sometimes you can have cruel kids that be bullies or disrespectful and so forth toward other children. But if you had situations where it's like, like back in the day, we used to do your mama jokes. You know what I'm saying? And we knew that when we were doing these jokes, we were not doing these to be disrespectful to that person's mother. We just did jokes to have a catching thing of something about your mama's so fat, uh, she eats donuts like Tic Tacs. You know what I'm saying? Like little shit like that. That's joking. That's comically joking about something. And it never was taken to offense. Now, don't get me wrong, though. Those, those, those are certain people that say, man, don't talk about my mama, bro. Don't talk about my mama. You know, we have those kind of situations. But. When you sit there and look at the concept of what a joke is and how some people can be offended by some people can be offended by a leaf falling on the ground. How dare that fucking leaf fall on that fucking ground? That's disrespectful to the grass. Literally, that's how fucking fucked up it is now. It's just like what's been going on with these cigs. I actually shared his video, and if you guys know about these cigs, I'm actually describing to this channel for a couple of years. And uh, basically, he has a situation going on with YouTube where they're talking about demonetizing his channel and so forth. He has about almost a half a million, half a million plus fans on his channel. And he just recently full screened the companies with recently, you know, so they, we, we can't do nothing with you and this and that. And that situation, he does comedy. Comedy should also have the bearer of what it is. It's comedy. It's not. It's, it's satirical. It's stuff that, if it is reflecting about society, then half the time you look at certain comedians like Richard Pryor, who stated the joke about when he went to Africa, and he said the word about the word nigger, and he sat there and looked and said, "Someone said, look around. What do you see?" He said, "You don't see any niggers," and he said he would never use that word again. Now, my whole thing is about. When it comes to race, when it comes to this, that, everything in between, if you know it's more meant to be in a comical fashion where you're not truly trying to hurt anybody, go ahead, balls to the wall. Some people need to just wake up and stop being so sensitive about every goddamn thing they see on television, reading a book, reading a magazine, look on the internet, whether it be Twitter, 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 Twitter Facebook, whoop, whoop, all that shit. I remember I said a joke. And when I recently got hired at this job that I'm working at now, and I said it's to one of the supervisors. And the joke was like this. There was this white kid. And he was with his family. And uh, his mom was making a chocolate cake. So his mom told him, uh, son, so, so forth, you can have the rest of the frosting. So what he did is he took his hand, dipped it in the frosting of the chocolate cake, and he smudged it all over his face. And he said to his mom, look, mom, I'm black. His mom was very, very deterred by what she saw. I think I'm using it in the right context. I don't know. And she smacked him on his backside and said, Go to your father and tell him what you've done. So he went to his father. Told him the same thing that he told his mother. Look, I'm black. Father smacked that ass. He <laughs> said, Go to your grandfather and tell him what you done. So he went to his grandfather. And I think you guys know what happened. Smacked that ass. <laughs> so then later on that night, I mean, that evening, I mean, they went and they were eating their food and dinner and so forth. And they asked the little boy, I said, what have you learned from what you did earlier? He sat there and said it like this. I've only been black for five minutes and I hate all you white motherfuckers. Now, that could be taken offensively. That can be taken this way and everything in between. Or it could be just it took it that it was funny to me, the joke, when I first heard it. Some people need to stop getting all up their ass about a joke. And when it comes to this situation about the Simpsons and how boo, a character that's been on that show all these years, and it's always like, hey, hey, but it's still, it's still like right. 
what's right about seeing us seeing a person getting whipped and being a slave? What's funny about a person being hit with a fucking water hose? None of that's funny. But you have to look at the fact that you had black comedians during that time that had jokes. You have to look at the fact that literally when it came to a message being said to a society, to whether you had to understand what was going on at the time, we can always sit there and say this and that. When you sit there and censor the whole line of what society is, you fucked up already because now you've killed free speech and you've also destroyed what it means to be able to say what you have on your mind or want to say. At the end of the day, I think it's just BS. Um, I find that if you fucking get mad about this, you need to see those old Water Brother cartoons. And I love me some Looney Tunes. But they have some stuff in there, too. Yes, 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 you yes, sure. Look at those black crows. Come on now, let's be real. I think at the end of the day, some people just need to wipe their ass and smell their own shit. Because guess what? Comedy is comedy. Laugh and just have a good time. Go to a comedy show, have a good time. Watch a fucking movie, have a good time. Stop fucking being so sensitive about every little thing. Please stop blowing my up. Oh, wait a minute, that's, that's, that's controversial. Can't do that. But yeah, this is Jugget82. Signing off. You guys have a good one. Did I do that? Yes, I did. Laugh, motherfuckers.